Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. I'm here to share with you one of my favorite riffs from I guess my favorite rock band of all time, maybe even yours, Queen. So let's learn another one bites the dust. Now, I want to also mention that on our channel we teach piano, bass, guitar and other instruments as well. So if you want to learn the guitar version on the guitar rather the bass guitar, you can head over there's a video in the description. You don't have to watch the piano one, but if you're a piano person and if you like Queen or this song or even if you don't take my word for it, this is an amazing song. This is the best band ever. Maybe the Beatles as well, but Queen, man amazing band listen to them if you haven't already so we are going to learn the bass line of uh, another one bites the dust and we are going to also learn the right hand to play the chords as well as exactly what's going on in the original song in terms of the verse in terms of the chorus yeah pretty much the whole song so hopefully you can use this particular lesson to play the entire song with your band or form one band maybe and uh, perform this you're not going to be playing the melody though maybe you can sing the melody or you could rely on a bandmate to sing the melody uh, but this is a proper piano version of another one bites the dust with a riff in the left hand and chords and chord pattern in the right hand with all the correct appropriate inversions as we hear in the original right so let's get cracking before we do it'll be great if you could consider subscribing subscribing to our channel hitting that bell icon for regular notifications the notation of this entire piece of music along it with my handwritten notes to support the lesson are available for you on our patreon page do consider heading over there as well just for $5 a month you get a subscription which gives you all the supplementary material for all the stuff we do on our YouTube channel. Plus, there are lots of other perks waiting for you as loyal members. So, let's get cracking. We are on the key of F minor. F minor has four flats. A flat, B flat, D flat, E flat. F minor is very similar to the A flat major scale and what we find with rock songs is we tend to always rely on playing music on the minor keys or the minor scales and this one is no different. more epic vibe and you you that more emotional sound so this is on f minor scale f g a flat b flat c d flat e flat f but queen are a very artistic group of musicians so they leave the scale here and there they use parallel transitions and all of that stuff so stick around there's a lot of interesting theory also along the lines where they change scales it's not just f minor but it's rooted on f so it's pretty much f so let's first learn the riff and we'll play the riff in the left hand because it's a bass riff that's how it starts so it starts at the pick up so that means it's before the one one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e Let's get that. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a and a of the four and a one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a one E and a two. Chicka boom a da da da. Chicka boom a chicka boom a chicka da 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 da. Okay, let's break that down. And a one E, two, three and a four E and a one E and a. A one e and I'm doing another one bites the dust the second half. Para bum bum bum. Then we sing another one bites the dust. Another one. Uh, you don't need to do another one. That's not what the guitars play. Another one bites the dust. Pa bum 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 pa bum. Pa bum 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 pa bum. So pare rum bum bum. So let's do that again. Para rum pick up para rum. So, pum so pick up one two three uh of the, of the end of the bar one or at the uh of the four of bar one one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a repeat. Okay, that's the riff. 
maybe play it with both hands just to get acquainted pam 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 para no pam pam Okay now in the right hand we are going to hold our chords the first chord would be F minor 7th so the way i'm voicing it in the right hand is to not play the f i'm not playing the root so i'm going c e flat a flat and that goes well with the bass line which anyways has the f so c e flat a flat is my voicing in the right hand Okay, we then go to F F minor seventh. We'll then go to the B flat minor, which I'm playing as D flat F B flat. Ta da dum. Another one. Okay, it's a bit tricky to get that right hand to keep the pulse. So initially, perhaps you could just hold the chord. long chords maybe minims and semi breves slowly build to the pulse good independence exercises of things help one is slow it down you could even close your eyes when you play that tends to help me a lot and yeah let's do the verse now the verse is pretty much what i just taught you na 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 then you don't need to play pa ra ra you don't have to do that instead just pause it there with the rest so that freddy gets to do his thing okay and then the new part now this is beautifully composed there's a g sharp minor being played in the right hand not in the actual song in the actual song there's no keys or piano so the way i'm voicing it is c flat e flat a flat c flat is nothing but b so and the re- left hand or the bass is going the bass guitar in the actual song is playing tan tan ta da re re pam ting ting te do re to so first bar tang tang te da 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 ta te da 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 tam so again i'm trying to hold the pulse or i could just do minims just to change the groove repeat Let's now learn the turn around. So before the turn round you have three bars of this one which I just played. Pam pam pa ra re re te and one e and two e and a three e and a four e and just to show you the breakdown. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a repeat. Mm 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 third bar same as the first bar fourth bar is not same as the second bar the fourth bar would be pam pam pa ra re pa so that's one on b flat minor pam pam one and pam pam pa you then have to do the e of the two one e and a two e and a three e and a four e e of the four Very interesting. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a back to the hook or back to the main bass line. So whole uh, 
pre chorus you could call it or hold that play minims instead of crotchets another form of independence and ending try to keep the pulse maybe in the right just for the turn around back to the main riff the whole verse again super slow no need of that pick up now hold of the four is very important so that's your entire verse so just to conclude the chorus has something very exciting at the end but again it's almost a carbon copy of what you played at the verse just a very very exciting chord at the chorus which makes it like an f dorian it almost goes to a 2 minor G minor at the end. Let's see how that goes now. So, uh, the first half is just the same. Another one bites the dust. Na mm, repeat. Another one bites the dust. Now, but another one bites, another one bites, another one bites the dust. Now, bam. Do you do a G minor 7th in your right hand? So instead of playing this is the very last cycle so instead of playing g minus like this i play a g minus 7th like this d f b flat without or sans g because the g is anyways in your left hand or in the bass so i voiced it like that i think that works okay 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 and 4 One e and a two e and a three e and a four. Those are the hits. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and slow it down. One e and a two. And these are the notes you may want to like compress your hand, sort of like you're eating something with your hands. One e and a two e and a three e and a four. And don't forget staccatos at the end. And a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. In the verse, we ended with a pa pa pa, and th- we ended on the E of the four. In the chorus, you're ending on the on of the four. So whole turn round or the end of the chorus, pa mi and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a okay, with the right hand G minor seventh. Whole chorus now. Another one bites the dust. Pick up. Parar. New chord. guys so that was another one bites the dust we've covered the intro we've covered the verse the chorus all the chords and to the best of my knowledge what i could hear on the original recording and then t- uh, after having tried to convert it on the piano i think this will work well in a band environment if you have to perform this with a group of musicians again there are supplementary resources on patreon as well as uh, you can always learn this in greater detail with the midi files 
And if you'd like to learn more songs, check out our playlist. We have Play Great Songs on Piano. So there are a lot of other songs out there which we've put out in that YouTube playlist. And if you'd want to learn a course in a more structured way, in a very structured way rather, head over to nathanielschool.com. You can choose either our video courses with pre-recorded material or you can consider joining our school and learning with me in person virtually as well as through offline uh, workshops which we do regularly right guys thanks a ton for watching the video again this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music